Hey Stampers, welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Beth, part of the Stamping Gel Creative team. I want to share with you today an easy watercolor wash hack. I have a couple of tips that make this so easy and quick to do and make some beautiful cards. So let me show you the products you're going to need. You'll need some basic white cardstock. I did try this technique with watercolor paper and it it didn't work as well because I couldn't move the color around. So I want you to use a basic white or a basic beige or a very vanilla cardstock. And then you'll need one of our clear envelopes and you'll need some blending brushes and some stamp pads. I've chosen lemon lolly, granny apple green, lemon lime twist and soft sea foam. Now I wanted to share with you just a little bit about the process of how I picked these colors just so that you can have an easier time to do this if this is something you struggle with. I'm not always great at choosing colors and I like to choose ones that work with the projects I'm doing. So I had selected the Citrus Blooms Bundle to work with for this technique. I really love that it's a line art stamp set and I wanted to watercolor a little bit. And so I knew that my fruit was going to be in like the orange range, kind of like some different uh, peach pie and um, different colors that way. So I knew I wanted to work a little bit with color theory. And in our catalog, we have this cute color theory wheel that um, helps us to know which colors work really well together. We also received this one from a Stampin' Up! event that we attended that looks very similar to the one in the catalog. So I wanted to show you with both, just so that however it applies to you, you can replicate it. I knew I was working with peach pie, pumpkin pie, crushed curry, kind of in this area. So I set my color wheel there. And then the analogous colors with those oranges were these yellow and green colors. So I chose Lemon Lolly, Soft Sea Foam, Lemon Lime Twist, and Granny Apple Green because I knew they would work well with these orange colors that I had chosen for my orange. I don't always work well to choose colors that work together. So I'm, that's just not my forte. I'm not, it's not a big talent for me. So I appreciate products that can help me to choose things that look great together. So I wanna show you how this worked out and then I'm gonna show you how to hack this watercolor technique so that you can make it work for you. Here's what I chose. I knew that I wanted my oranges to be kind of in that orangish range and this is the background I created using my lemon lolly, my granny apple green, my soft sea foam, and my lemon lime twist. I couldn't have guessed that these colors would look so great together but looking at this sample and the way it turned out I'm really really happy with the result. So let me show you the hack and how you do it. You've gathered your products here and our colors. I'm gonna open up my stamp pads and I like to start light to dark just because that's, I feel like that's the best for my brushes. So I've got a couple of blending brushes here. I'm gonna pull in my clear envelope and I'm just gonna add some color, just random. I wanted this one to be, I'm gonna kind of daub it instead of rub it because I like to get a lot of color on there and when you rub it, it feels like it just moves the color around but it's not there as much. I'm gonna add my lemon lolly first and then I'm gonna move to my soft sea foam which is a really soft, soft green color. I'm gonna add that on here too. And it's just random daubing it around. Okay. Let's do Lemon Lime Twist. Now, the nice part about watercolor is when the colors kind of start to blend together. So you're gonna go, um, because I'm using such similar colors, they can kind of go together and it works out okay. But just be aware, they're probably gonna kind of meld. And that's the look we want when it comes to watercolor. I'm gonna add in my granny apple green, just like that. And this is when it kind of comes to life. Grab a Stampin' Spritzer or a water bottle or anything that you can do to transfer water onto this. And you're just gonna spritz it with some water and it's gonna kind of wake up the color. So I know I use some light colors and this may not look great on the camera, but we're gonna try it. 
So you want to get it in that perfect sweet spot of wet but not too wet. You don't want it to drip because I'm going to pick this up and I'm going to move it. So I'm going to bring in my piece of basic white. I'm going to pick up my envelope, put that down. And then I'm going to just flip this over onto my basic white cardstock. I'm going to position it kind of how I want it, and then I'm going to press down. And we're going to create almost like this tie-dye watercolor wash here on my cardstock. So it just transfers the ink right on to our basic white cardstock. You can see that it curls up a little bit, but it really takes on the color where the watercolor paper didn't take, it didn't allow me to move the color around like I wanted to because it just sucked it up really, really fast. So just a different look, but I like how this kind of looks almost like a tie-dye watercolor wash. Okay, so just a reminder, here's how my card turned out. I was able to take the image from the Citrus Bloom stamp set and I watercolored that on some watercolor paper um, with watercolor pencils and then added it and it just pulled that color out really really well. I love the way that this turned out. Let me show you one more sample. I did the full piece of white, basic white cardstock here with some different oranges. I wanted to make it so I didn't have to color my image there and so I created kind of that wash background, but I did it very uniform. So I did stripes. You can kind of see that with the different um, yellows and oranges that I chose in that card and just created kind of a background and gave a lot of interest to that card. Because the paper does curl a little bit, I would suggest that you create your background and then let it dry and then you stamp your image. So I was able to go back and I stamped it um, just in memento black on top of my um, kind of that watercolor tie-dye look of a background. I hope you can take this watercolor wash hack and create some card backgrounds with the items that you already have, play with color, and make your cards or your next project just pop. If you've liked this technique and you want to see more, you can always subscribe to our channel. We post videos here weekly with lots of tips and tr tricks and techniques. Join us. We would love it. And if you like any of these products that you've seen today, the links are included in the description of the video below. Thanks for joining us. I'll see you next week for another Watch a Weekly Wednesday.